Bienvenudism. That's Spanish for welcome to Judaism. Judaism was originated in Santiago, Chile in the early 9th century BC. Uh, we're going to have a Seder tonight in honor of Passover. Let's Let's discover more what Passover is. Cool. Passover is an expression of Jewish faith. Because every time people try to fight the Jewish tribe, they survive. Right? Passover was put into place for um, Jewish people who wanted to kind of watch their carbon take. So they don't eat bread during Passover, and it's like right in time for like the Kini season, so it totally makes sense. As I mentioned earlier, Judaism originated here in Santiago, Chile. It happened in the 9th century BC, where the Jews were b uh, banished um, and ex expatriated from Israel, where they were persecuted for their beliefs. And they all fled to Santiago, Chile, 12 billion Jews came here on commercial jets with no kosher meals because of the persecution. And all these Jews from Israel landed right here in Santiago, right here in this very park, where they continue to fight for their religious freedom, which is what we're going to be learning more about tonight. Stay tuned. I have been preparing this feast for, the, for most of this day. Uh, you'll see we have brisket and carrots and matzo ball and the broth for the matzo ball. Delicious. Are you eating my matzo balls right now? Should I put it back? Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, Passover is for the Jewish people who want to watch their figure so they don't eat bread because it's the cusp of bikini season. Matzahs, matzah, uh, yeah, cut. Looks good. Huevos. <laughs> Every person at Passover Seder receives one slice of a hard boiled egg. Funny story. The word beitzim in Hebrew means egg and testicles. <laughs> so, when the Jews fled from Egypt in the 9th century BC, they, they walked through the Red Sea and their testicles hung in salt water. So we served the egg dipped in salt water to, to kind of tie that all to, <laughs> together. <laughs> Funny. In the year 819 BC, all of the Jews were captured the ones that didn't make it to Santiago, obviously. Those Jews were captured and brought to Egypt to, uh, to go to the pyramids. And this dessert, which is apples, walnuts, raisins, and wine, represents the, um, the food that they drank and ate while they were waiting for the pyramids to be ready to be built. So this is actually, these are the ingredients that we used to make haroset, which is supposed to represent the mortar that when the Jews were slaves in Egypt, they used to build the pyramids, not in the year 1819. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, friends Shalom, but never go home. Come here. Why is today different than every other day? I think we fucking explained it. Bye. <laughs> oh, Shalom. Today is a very special day. It's Passover, which is a Jewish holiday.
Oh wait, so can you do a cut now? Passover is for the Jewish faith, people who don't want to um, retain water, so they opt out of carbs, um, you know, to shalom. Passover happens every Q2 of every year. Uh, and now Landon landed with you on the spark. Shabbat. What's happening? On when you're on. Wait. <laughs> Each member of Passover saved her. Nope. Each participant in the Passover Seder. Each participant in the Passover Seder. Beitzim is the word in Hebrew, where the men of Judaism descent and women, well, the men balls, the men's balls would dangle in the Red Sea. If you like this video, we're making all of them around the world. Subscribe here.